माय डियर स्वॉन्स मैं सब गंगाधर स्वॉन के एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द एम सी जेम्स वर्चुअल क्लास माय डियर स्वॉन्स टुडे इन स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ हिस्ट्री विल बी लर्निंग द टॉपिक द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द स्वराज एंड इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द स्वराज और हाउ इट रन एंड इन डिटेल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस बट बिफोर दैट वील जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन जनरली इट मीन्स दैट द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ पब्लिक अफेयर्स और ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट or the process of or activity of running a business that is what we call administration now today also in democracy we have the thing called administration which runs all the activities which are related with the public affairs so it was there in the swaraj also that is why today also we are talking about the swaraj because of the effective administrative system of the swaraj and about that we are going to talk in detail in this chapter as we learned that shivaji maharaj founded swaraj with the help of his companions and under the guidance of rajmata jizabai and shahaji raje then he had himself crowned and after the coronation maharaj accomplished dakshin digvijay the conquest of the south and then the swaraj expanded including the areas of nashik pune satara sangli kolapur sindhudurg ratnagiri raigad and thane districts of maharashtra and now not only in maharashtra but it also included parts of andhra pradesh and tamil nadu states now by this we can understand the geographical territory of the swaraj and to ensure the smooth management to ensure the smooth management of the affairs of the swaraj and to ensure people's welfare because basically the objective of the swaraj was the people's welfare and for that shivaji maharaj set up an efficient administration so in this topic we shall get some information about the administration of the swaraj Now in this topic, we have to cover the points: Ashta Pradhan Mandal, the policy regarding agriculture, encouragement to trade, the military organization, forts, navy. So the first one about which we are going to talk is Ashta Pradhan Mandal or council of eight ministers here in this image you can see that the shivaji maharaj sitting at the center and the four ministers 1 2 3 4 4 ministers of different here eight ministers and that is why it is called ast pradhan mandal at the time of his coronation Shivaji Maharaj appointed a council of eight ministers. Today also, if you people go for the newspaper or news channels, then you can see there are number of ministers in our country at the central level and at state level. So, central level के भी अलग अलग ministers हैं, फिर state level के अलग अलग ministers हैं, और हर एक minister को एक पर्टिकुलर एरिया दिया है जिसमें उन्हें काम करना है फॉर एग्जांपल एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर सेंट्रल एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर एंड स्टेट एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर और स्पेशली टुडे इन दिस पैंडमिक सिचुएशन वी कैन टॉक अबाउट द हेल्थ मिनिस्टर जो लोगों की हेल्थ की तरफ देखने का काम करते हैं तो हेल्थ मिनिस्टर जो सेंट्रल लेवल पर है हेल्थ मिनिस्टर जो अलग अलग स्टेट में है लाइक दैट इन द पीरियड ऑफ शिवाजी महाराज ही अपॉइंटेड a council of eight ministers and the administration was divided into eight departments just now i told you about like education or health these are the departments or the revenue department or the public and welfare department all these are the departments 
during the period of shivaji maharaj shivaji maharaj also appointed a council of eight ministers and he divided administration of swaraj into eight departments a minister was appointed at the head of every department and there were eight such ministers this was the अष्ट प्रधान मंडल वाई इट इज कॉल्ड अष्ट प्रधान मंडल क्योंकि आठ मिनिस्टर थे इसीलिए उसे अष्ट प्रधान मंडल कहा जा रहा था वन मिनिस्टर एट द हेड ऑफ एवरी डिपार्टमेंट फिर उनके नीचे काम करने वाले और अलग अलग लोग होते थे द मिनिस्टर्स व आंसरेबल टू महाराज फॉर द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द रिस्पेक्टिव डिपार्टमेंट एंड दिस वन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग बिकॉज of this shivaji maharaj was directly connected with the people or directly connected with the ministers to unse kya hota tha ki kisi ek particular department ka kaam kya chal raha hai uske bare mein information shivaji maharaj ko ministers ko dena padta tha now why ashta pradhan mandal because maharaj alone had the power to appoint a minister or to remove him from his position and the ministers were answerable to maharaj for the administration of their respective departments shivaji maharaj selected the council on the basis of their merit and achievements very important thing jitne bhi ministers the wo sab unke merit aur achievements ke basis pe select kiye jate the na ki कोई उनके नज़दीक का है या फिर कोई रिलेटिव है नॉट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट और वी कैन से देर वॉज नो एनी काइंड ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन वाइल सेलेक्टिंग द काउंसिल ही डिड नॉट गिव देम जागीर्स वतन गिफ्ट और फिप्स बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दिस थिंग्स इट मे पॉसिबल दैट these ministers may exploit the common people so he did not give them any kind of jagis wathans gifts or fips they were paid handsome salaries instead and this was the new thing in that period in that era that shivaji maharaj started giving handsome salaries in the hands of the people or the ministers we can say like today salary in hand here you can see the chart which is given in our textbook about the eight ministers name of the eight ministers their designation and the work which they have to do the first one moro trimbak pingle pradhan in the ashtra pradhan mandal and his work was to running the administration running the administration and making arrangements for the conquered territories then ramchandra nilkant muzumdar amatya his work was to keep the accounts of the state then annaji datto sachiv preparing royal edicts datta ji trimbak wakniss mantri of correspondence jo bhi letters idhar ke udhar bhejne hote the aate the jaate the वो सब देखना काम दत्ताजी त्रिम्बक वाकनिस का था देन हम्बीर राव मोहिते हु वॉज सेनापति ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द आर्मी एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द किंगडम वॉज द ड्यूटी ऑफ हम्बीर राव मोहिते और वी कैन से हम्बीर राव मोहिते वॉज द हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ आर्मी रामचंद्र त्रिम्बक डबीर वॉज सुमंत इन द अष्ट प्रधान मंडल एंड हिज वर्क वॉज टू लुक आफ्टर द फॉरेन रिलेशंस then niraji rao ji nayadish dispensing justice and the last one moreshwar pandit rao looking after religious matter so in the ashta pradhan mandal all these eight ministers were there and their designation as you can see on the screen and also the nature of the work to isse kya hota tha ki har ek minister ko apna apna kaam tha koi ek dusre ke kaam mein नोकझोंक नहीं करता था ताकझाक नहीं करता था और लोगों को भी अपने किसी पर्टिकुलर इशू के बारे में किसके पास जाना है वो पता होता था
and because of all this the administration of the swaraj run smoothly now the next one in this the point is the policy regarding agriculture not only in the medieval history of india but today also we people talk about the policy of shivaji maharaj regarding agriculture in today's democracy also number of times we give example of shivaji maharaj's agricultural policy and about that we are going to talk here in this point agriculture was the main occupation in villages as we know our country which is totally based on the agriculture so the maharaj knew the importance of agriculture and that's why he paid attention to the welfare of the peasants jis tarah se factories aaj hai us tarah ki badi badi factories us waqt nahi thi to basic occupation jo tha wo kheti hi tha agriculture tha aur us par dhyan dena kisi bhi ek kingdom ke liye bahut zaruri tha and that is why shivaji maharaj also paid attention to the welfare of the peasants and now in what form he paid attention he interested the responsibility of organizing the land revenue system to his capable and experienced officer anna ji datto now while doing this very important thing which he did he warned the officers that they should not collect they should not collect more revenue than the amount that was fixed it was very common at that time jo bhi ministers hua karte the ya jiske paas ye kaam diya tha raja log utna andar ja ke nahi dekhte the to ye ministers kya karte the logo ko jitna revenue decide kiya gaya hai usse zyada revenue collect karte the aur isse kya hota tha peasants jo the unka exploitation hota tha aur jitna decide kiya gaya hai utna hi kingdom mein jama karte the baki khud ke liye rakhte the that is why shivaji maharaj warned the officers that they should not collect more revenue than the amount that was fixed he encouraged peasants to bring uncultivated land under cultivation now why land was there which was not in cultivation because of many problems which were with the farmers but shivaji maharaj not only encouraged them maharaj had instructed his officers to provide what to provide provide bullocks plows good seeds for servants he encouraged people and at the same time if the crop was lost due to excessive rains or because of drought or if an enemy army had devastated the area of the village remissions were granted in land revenue and other taxes to isse kya hota tha jo farmers the jo peasants the unka ek tarah ka bharosa swaraj pe baith gaya tha in any critical situation or critical weather conditions unko jo tax decide kiya gaya tha usme chhoot milti thi ya fir wo maaf ho jata tha then the next thing about the administration of swaraj village economy of that period agriculture was the backbone of the rural economy about which just now we discussed in villages many occupations developed to supplement agriculture and in that artisans in the village produced goods and fulfill the needs of the local people now these artisans worked for the people including carpenter barber idol dresser water carrier shoemaker blacksmith washerman potter or rope maker and in this sense a village was a self sufficient unit क्योंकि ये सारे लोग वहां पर एक दूसरे के लिए काम करते थे किसी को बाहर जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती थी फार्मर्स गेव अ डेफिनेट शेयर फ्रॉम देयर प्रोड्यूस टू आर्टिस्ट एंड दिस शेयर वाज कॉल्ड बलुता फॉर एग्जांपल किसी 
फार्मर को अगर कारपेंटर के पास काम होता था तो कारपेंटर से वो अपना काम करवा के लेते थे और उसके बदले में उनकी खेती में जो प्रोड्यूस होता था ग्रेन्स वो उसे देते थे तो करेंसी जो आज हम कहते कि पैसे देते और कुछ भी खरीदते थे वो वो सिस्टम उस वक्त नहीं था और था भी तो बहुत कम था बलूता सिस्टम जिसे कहा जाता था कि एक को ये देना है और उससे ये लेना है मतलब जिसके पास जो है वो उसको देना है और हमारे पास जो नहीं है वो उससे हमें लेना है फॉर एग्जांपल शू मेकर अगर आज हमें शूज चाहिए तो हम दुकान में जाते हैं पैसे देते हैं शू खरीदते हैं लेकिन उस वक्त गाँव में बलूता सिस्टम थी शू मेकर शू बनाते थे फार्मर्स उसके पास जाएंगे उससे शू ले लेंगे और उसके बदले में उसे उनके पास जो फूड ग्रेन्स है वो दे देंगे This was the kind of village economy of that period. Then now the next point, trade and business. So Shivaji Maharaj encouraged trade because Maharaj knew that a kingdom doesn't prosper without an increase in trade. Agriculture to hai hi, but trade ko agar encourage nahi kiya jayega, to किसी भी किंगडम को प्रॉस्पर होना उतना पॉसिबल नहीं है मर्चेंट्स ब्रिंग नॉवेल गुड्स एज ऑल्सो सर्टन नेसेसिटीज इन टू अ किंगडम एंड गुड्स बिकम अवेलेबल इन प्लेन टी सो ट्रेड प्रॉस्पर्स एडिंग टू वेल्थ व्यू दैट महाराज टूक ऑफ मर्चेंट्स इज सीन इन द आज्ञापत्र वेर मर्चेंट्स आर डिस्क्राइब्ड लाइक दिस ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी मर्चेंट्स आर द ऑर्नामेंट्स ऑफ द किंगडम एंड द ग्लोरी ऑफ द किंग मर्चेंट्स आर द ऑर्नामेंट्स बाय दिस वर्ड ऑर्नामेंट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ मर्चेंट्स इन द किंगडम क्योंकि उनसे ही ग्लोरी आती है उनसे ही वेल्थ आती है it was the policy of maharaj to protect industries and while protecting industries shivaji maharaj specially look after the local industry and it was the policy of maharaj to protect industry for this he protected the salt industry in kokan at that time traders imported salt from the portuguese territory and sold in swaraj try to understand this kya karte the traders salt portuguese se lete the portuguese territory se aur swaraj mein use bechte the which affected the local trade in kokan areas kokan mein jo salt hota tha us par isse affect hua so what he did maharaj charged heavy duty on the salt imported jo bahar se aa raha hai उस पर हैवी ड्यूटी लगाया तो उन लोगों को यहाँ पे भाव बढ़ाना पड़ा इन टू द स्वराज फ्रॉम द पोर्तुगीज टेरिटरी नाउ द इंटेंशन बिहाइंड दिस द इंटेंशन वॉज दैट सॉल्ट इम्पोर्टेड फ्रॉम द पोर्तुगीज टेरिटरी वुड देन कॉस्ट मोर एंड एज अ रिजल्ट इट्स इम्पोर्ट वुड डिक्रीज एंड द सेल ऑफ द लोकल सॉल्ट वुड इंक्रीज दिस वॉज द थॉट ऑफ द policy of shivaji maharaj behind doing this and this is very important in today's scenario also to understand agar kisi ek country ko kisi ek state ko agar aage jana hai badhna hai to ye policy use karna bahut zaruri hai now the next point the military organization because of which shivaji maharaj crowned himself or we can say there was the swaraj it was all because of the military organization of shivaji maharaj or the management of the military organization of shivaji maharaj about which in detail now we'll talk there were two main divisions of the army of shivaji maharaj in that the first one infantry and the second one cavalry so what about infantry and what about cavalry in detail we'll talk now a squad squad of 10 soldiers formed the smallest unit of infantry 10 soldiers in the smallest unit of infantry it was commanded by an officer called naik 
टेन सोल्जर्स उनका एक ऑफिसर जिसे नाइक कहा जाता था देन अ हवालदार कमांडेड फाइव नाइक्स मीन्स फिफ्टी सोल्जर्स देन अ जुमलेदार कमांडेड टू हवलदार्स मीन्स हंड्रेड सोल्जर्स अगेन एंड अ हजारी कमांडेड जुमलेदार्स दिस वॉज द सिस्टम इन द मिलिट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ शिवाजी महाराज दैट इज इन इन्फेंट्री एंड द सर नौबत वॉज द हाइएस्ट ऑफिसर इन द इन्फेंट्री वट अबाउट कैलरी सिलेदास had his own horses and weapons then the bagis provided with a horse and weapons by the state ek hote the silledar jinke paas khud ke ghode hote the khud khud ke shastra hote the aur bagis jo hote the unko state se yani ki swaraj se ye sari cheeze di jati thi in the cavalry bagis were more in the number the ranks of the cavalry officers was similar to those of the infantry officers the highest officer in the cavalry was the sir nawabat now if we people go for the names then the netaji palkar pratap rao gujar netaji palkar pratap rao gujar hambir rao mohite was some of the famous sir nawabats of the cavalry this was the system of the military organization of shivaji maharaj now here you can see the difference between the infantry and the cavalry or you can compare the system of the infantry and the cavalry now the next thing which is again very important when we talk about any kind of military organization and that is the intelligence department because while running any kind of state or country or the kingdom it was very necessary to protect the kingdom in case of swaraj it was necessary to protect the swaraj from its enemies and to protect it was necessary to get precise and timely information not only precise but also timely exact or exact time pe information milna bahut zaruri hota hai it was necessary to get precise and timely information about the movements of the enemy so that king or the military organization can take decision it was the job of intelligence department to obtain information about the movements of the enemies and submit it to the maharaj the intelligence service of maharaj was very efficient and because of that we can see number of times he won the battles bahir ji naik when we talk about the intelligence department of shivaji maharaj this name which is very important bahir ji naik who was the head of the intelligence department he was extremely skilled in his job he can talk many languages in many different different geographical areas by keeping in mind that geographical tone of that particular language or dressing different different things according to the situation so he was the head of the intelligence department and he was extremely skilled in his job he collected accurate and detailed information about surat before the raid on surat aur phir कैंपेन ऑफ सूरत से हमें पता चला है कि शिवाजी महाराज ने वहाँ जाके किस तरह से स्वराज को बहुत सारी वेल्थ वहाँ से लाई थी इट वॉज ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन कलेक्टेड बाय द बहिर जी नाइक नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग फोर्ट्स ऑफ छत्रपति शिवाजी महाराज फोर्ट्स व ऑफ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस इन द मिडियल एज टू इंक्रीज द जियोग्राफिकल टेरिटरी ऑफ एनी किंगडम इट वॉज वेरी नेसेसरी टू होल्ड मोर एंड मोर फोर्ट्स और नंबर में ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा फोर्ट होना बहुत ज़रूरी था पोजेशन ऑफ अ फोर्ट मेड इट पॉसिबल टू कीप एन आई ऑन द सराउंडिंग एरिया एंड इन केस ऑफ फॉरन इन्वेजन इट वॉज पॉसिबल टू प्रोटेक्ट द पीपल टेकिंग सेल्टर इन द फोर्ट 
अगर कोई फॉरेन इन्वेजन होता था तो लोगों को फोर्ट में सेल्टर लेना आसान होता था इट वॉज पॉसिबल टू स्टॉक द फोर्ट विथ फूड ग्रेन्स वॉर मटेरियल्स अमिनेशन एंड मिलिट्री गैरिजिंग ये सारी चीज़ें फोर्ट में रखना बहुत आसान होता था एंड डेट इज़ वाई ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा फोर्ट्स पास में होना बहुत ज़रूरी था द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फोर्ट्स इन द आज्ञापत्र वॉज गिवन दिस किंगडम वॉज क्रिएटेड बाय द लेट रिवर्ड एंड एक्साल्टेड मैजिस्टी फोर्ट्स अलोन सो द दे व अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्ट्स इन द स्वराज यू पीपल जस्ट थिंग इट वॉज स्टार्टेड विद द वेरी स्मॉल फोर्ट दैट वॉज कॉल्ड तोरना जब शिवाजी महाराज सोलह सत्रह साल की उम्र के थे तो अपने कुछ फ्रेंड्स के साथ उन्होंने तोरना फोर्ट लिया और वहाँ से स्वराज की जर्नी स्टार्ट हुई एंड हेयर दे व अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्ट्स इन द स्वराज महाराज स्पेंड अ कंसिडरेबल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी ऑन द बिल्डिंग and repairs of these forts he built hill forts like pratapgarh pavangarh and rajgarh there was a havaldar a sarnobat and karkhanis on every fort sabni sarnobat havaldar now what was the duty of karkhanis the karkhanis looked after the storage of food grains and the maintenance of war material on the fort. This was again the part of administration. जैसे हमें हमने अष्ट प्रधान मंडल देखा कि अलग अलग काम दिया है अलग अलग डिपार्टमेंट उन्हें दिया है वैसे ही कारखानिस जो था उनके पास भी काम था to look after the storage of food grains and the maintenance of war material on the fort. Now here on the स्क्रीन यू कैन सी द फोर्ट्स लाइक राजगढ़ पुरंदर सिंहगढ़ सिंधुदुर्ग शिवनेरी एंड मुरूर जंजीर नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द सी फोर्ट्स महाराज न्यू द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ सी फोर्ट्स टू एंड वन ऑफ द सी फोर्ट्स दैट ही बिल्ट वॉज सिंधुदुर्ग दिस वन इट इज एन एक्सलेंट सी फोर्ट टू गिव स्ट्रेन टू द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द फोर्ट five khandis of lead was poured into its foundation and a sea fort called padmadurg was built in front of rajapuri in order to counter the siddhi power about this fort maharaj has said in a letter that by constructing padmadurg he had set up another rajapuri to overshadow the rajapuri of the siddhi so like companions of shivaji maharaj or the maulas or the people in the swaraj forts also played very important role in strengthening the swaraj now the next point navy enemies on the west coast of india the portuguese of goa the siddhi of janjira and the british factors of surat and rajapur created obstacles in the work of expanding the swaraj and it was very important to stop them so maharaj set up a navy to protect west coast from the portuguese from the siddhis and from the british it was necessary to curb their activities and to protect the west coast for this purpose maharaj raised a navy he realized that the one who has a navy controls the sea and this was the foresight of maharaj aaj bhi hum dekhte hai ki jis tarah se geographical structure hamare desh ka hai it was very important for maharaj also and for today also to have a navy one of the sea forts that he built was the sindhudurg at malwan and the sea fort called padmadurg was built in front of rajapuri in order to counter the siddhi there were 400 ships of various kinds in his navy and they included battle ships like the gurab this one galbat this one and pali 
ships were built in the creek of Kalyan Bhivandi, Vijayadurg, and Malwan. Now, in this, Mayank Bhandari and Daulat Khan. Mayank Bhandari and Daulat Khan were the chief naval commanders of the navy. Shivaji Maharaj was the first Indian king. Shivaji Maharaj was the first Indian king to cultivate navy in addition to acquiring land. He had 300 shipyards, hundreds of fidgets and many sea forts. He controlled over 300 miles of coastline and that is why he is known as father of the Indian navy. As our navy is so big in our country, तो ये स्टार्ट कहाँ हुई तो शिवाजी महाराज ने इसे स्टार्ट किया और इसीलिए हम उन्हें फादर ऑफ द इंडियन नेवी कहते हैं सो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द स्वराज महाराज डिड नॉट वर्क ओनली विद द लिमिटेड एम्बिशन ऑफ कॉन्क्विंग एनिमी टेरिटरीज एंड इस्टेब्लिशिंग डोमिनंस लाइक अदर थिंग्स सो हिज मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉज टू मेक हिज सब्जेक्ट्स इंडिपेंडेंट एंड दैट इज वाई द journey of Swaraj started and it was also in the minds of Jizabai and the Shahaji Raja. Swaraj was not only for increasing the geographical boundaries but it was to make the subjects independent. He was aware that if his subjects were to really get the joy of freedom it was necessary to have a disciplined administration, take comprehensive care of people's welfare and protect the conquered territories and this was the broad principle of shivaji maharaj's administration please subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notifications so my dear one this is all for today thank you very much stay home stay safe take care